Anyway, yeah, suffice it to say, I have been interested in, like, doing a more classically wizardly stuff, like, you know, wearing robes and, and using a, a wand instead of, like, some awesome Elden Ring staff or whatever. Because a lot of those games are really built for, like, melee combat. The squeeze. This one's so hard. This is a really difficult one. Bust out my old reliables. All right, and then this way, they'll all be pancaked in here to ensure maximum kill zone. Of course it's the other one, though. Oh, yeah, and you guys. Great. I did, in fact, mean to use the wind spell just because I want to um, give myself a little more breathing room here. Let me just double check something. Okay, yes. I am recording and my webcam is still on correctly. That's good. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I asked for a lot of like recommendations for like what is something that will be like what's the game where I can be like a wizard? And like people were mostly like, you should just play that Hogwarts Legacy, even though you're ideologically opposed to it. Like a lot of people who aren't weirdo racists made that game. And that is a good point. So maybe I will wait for a sale on it. But even so. Gotta let them get to my cool traps. There's this... Sorry, I'm just trying to think here. Because Dungeon Keeper is a game where you, like, build stuff, and it's a classically fantasy thing. Um, yeah, Dungeon Keeper certainly is a game where you do those things. All right, we need more guarding up here. One thing that I really do like about Orcs Must Die too is that kobolds are all so weak that the default wind spell will likely break their neck when you use it. Nobody? Okay, cool. And I see a lot of people getting chewed up down there, so that's good. And if we need it, we can use that big rolling log. Yeah, I see nobody coming in from downstairs. Come on, man. Get some slurp. Back in the game. Just in case one of them slips past me. But yeah, I think Dungeon Keeper is the game I'm thinking of. Because there's this, this... This is such a weird way to, like, know a game. But there's this game that has a really, really well-known, like, really good fan fiction for it, right? Let's do it this way. And let's hawk one just so we have enough to like slow him down here. And then we will do the double.
Yeah, I think it's the Dungeon Keeper franchise. Where, like, the game is pretty good, and then there was this, like, gigantic super mega fan fiction. That's, like... It, it's one of those things where it's like, why didn't you just write a regular book? Like, not capitalism ho... Not to be capitalism ho here, but, like... If this was original, you could have made so much money on it. But, like, you wanted it to be in canon, and, like... For that reason, perhaps we should respect it more than an original book, you know? Just doing it for the for the art of it. Because you're like, I want this to be what people think about when they think of, you know, a, a fan fiction or uh, a game, you know? Like, hey, I've written fan fiction. I've written it for um, Homestuck, which I'm not proud of. Not for any particular reason. I think it's just an inherent bit of, like, being shameful to be a fan of Homestuck. Kind of like being a Catholic in that way. Um, and I wrote some for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure just because I have a lot of ideas about JoJo. Wow. Messy. But good. Um, let's put another one down. That should solve a lot of my problems up there. And then down here, we can honestly... Once we get more... Ah, oh, crap. We gotta be up here, though, because of the fire bat. I hate these guys. I feel like... I feel like, like, every time I kill them, it takes so long, even if I'm getting a bunch of headshots, just because I gotta point my camera upwards now. Let's go here now, just to cover my ass. Oh, I think everyone else got chewed up by this thing. Yeah, it looks about that way. Oh, God. Like, I know that, like, the fire babies are supposed to be kobolds of the air, and these are supposed to be, like, orcs of the air, but, like, still, it takes, like, forever to kill them. All right. Make me proud, boys. Let's set up something else up here, just so we can... Unfortunately, I cannot stay to watch. Let's give it a shot, huh? Oh, pure platinum. Look at that. Look at that big combo. And that will really solve all my problems up there for a while. So let's head down here. Man, what the hell was I talking about? Anyway, at some point I asked for like recommendations for like alternatives to it. And people were like, it sounds like considering you're asking for everything that's in that game, you kind of just want to play that game, right? And like, I do, kind of. So maybe I will get it on sale, but... I know this will just hardly tickle your britches for nothing, but... The people with you will like it a lot less. Cool. Clean living. Oh, there's not enough room there? Oh, and I got those, too. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, that kill zone is preserved. <laughs> One thing that I have been noticing uh, from a lot of, like, uh, AAA games recently is that, like, I see a lot of really awesome ideas that then do not get the proper execution, or at least an execution that I really love. Hurt. Oh, yeah. And granted, it's possible to get that from, you know, non-AAA releases as well. Gotta go upstairs and deal with the... <sighs> you know, you want to cut a fine line between, like, 
gameplay and pest control, you know? You don't want it to be too annoying, right? I mean, I hope. My god. Does that do less damage to them or something because they are fire aligned? Because that'd be pretty annoying. And yet, so in character. One thing that is a downside of this game, I've just realized, is that, like, um... Is that, like, in a normal uh, uh, tower defense game, you often get, like, awesome moments of, like, enemy destruction. And, like, just seeing them get turned into mulch. And that's, like, that's a legitimate part of enjoyment. That's a point of enjoyment for the game, you know? That's a selling point. The fact that you get to see that is part of why some people play these games. Just because, like, it's cool to see the, to, to see the plan come together. But, like, here, you kind of don't get to see it in some places. You know, when you have a, when you have a big double like this... Or when you have, um, when you have, uh, uh, two, like, two, uh, cores, two, what is it, rifts? Rifts. When you have two rifts, um, yeah, come on, step into my parlor. I just want to observe it. <laughs> Alright, that's enough out of you two. And then, oh, they haven't gotten all the way through anyway, so. Why don't we just, uh, secure ourselves here. Cool. This one is less secure, because this one now has two layers. Oh, it, it doesn't actually have any kills up here. But this does have, like, one kill. Yeah, this only has the one kill zone. That one has two kill zones, but it does only have one killer. Technically better still, because it does slow them down as well. I guess I'll make sure to put that there. It also has both um, logs completely unused. Yeah, because that log hasn't been used yet. Nor has this one. Yeah, I never thought about that until just now. Like, I love getting to watch my, my like, traps trigger. And see, you know, miscellaneous destruction. That's great. That's fun. That's part of why I play these games. You love it when a plan comes together. But sometimes, you know, like, because of the way that this game is set up, you kind of don't get to see that as often. It's kind of a shame. They don't need any more help down here. Let's go upstairs and set up another kill zone. Like, I'm thinking, like, right here. Let's do it like that. Just to make sure. And then that should also help limit the amount of, like, shenanigans that people have to shoot down. Because if all they're shooting down is just that stuff upstairs. Okay. And there's not too much coming in from there. Ugh. 
Sorry, my arm's hurting. I'm sitting at a weird angle, I think. Damaged my rotator cuff. Not meant to do that. My arm, I mean. Let's make sure everyone's good down here. Nobody's reached this yet. <laughs> I see mulch! Yeah. I can see the people on the minimap getting through, but I do want to observe. Oh, actually, they're not getting through if you look at the minimap. Oh! Yes! Yeah, they're actually getting stopped by that other trap that I have. Oh, perfect. While we're here. Yeah, and then those guys are getting chewed up too. Just as good. Or bad for them. And yeah, there's both kill zones. Let's just extend that one more. Because I can, I can be sure that all of them will get tripped up by it. Oh, this is going to be a pain. Oh yeah, and then because of the fact that they can shoot back at you, you have to keep moving in order to not get tagged by the fireballs. Oh boy. Got really real for a second there, guys. I'd appreciate if that was not the case. Alright, I don't know if that hit them at all. It might have went over their heads, which would have been really unfortunate. Okay, there's them. Man, see them coming out of their single file? That was so convenient. Man, I can't believe that I, I beat this game as a child without using, like, frequent barricades in order to make the little mazes. Like, God. It's so convenient. I would be kind of interested to see how this game would look if, like... Webcam's frozen. Don't know how long that's been the case. Sorry, everyone. I would be kind of interested to see how this game would look if, like... Pardon me. Um... If it were turned back into like a, uh, like standard tower defense game. All right, if any of them got through, they should be able to be mopped up by our boys downstairs. Can you not? I'm trying to build some ground traps here. That was stupid. That's just not right. <laughs> I've got it backwards. <laughs> Rats. I don't know how I do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, yeah, get me out of there. Alright. Orxes are getting in. And again, this top floor, dude. I don't have any of my logs left. Oh, and you guys are still alive. So you're going to have to be dealt with. Oh, and they broke a barricade, too. Damn. All 
I mean, you appear to be the last enemy, right? I'm a little peeved that you can never grab the coin in these levels. Or not in these levels, just like, if the last enemy to be defeated is an orc, or an ogre. Um, spoil mushrooms. These are always really hard to use. But they're really good if you can get like a null to stand on them. 